Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, module on OCI tax. My name is Rohit Rahi and I'm part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. So when it comes to tagging in OCI, there are two kinds of tags which are supported today. The first uh, category uh, would be familiar to folks who have worked with other cloud vendors and that's the concept of freeform tax. So this is a basic implementation and it basically consists of a key and a value. So right here you have a compute instance and you have a couple of tags which you have applied. Uh, the first tag says the key is environment, the value is production, the second tag says project, the value is alpha and you can see these two tags here, right? It's really simple, free form, you can define whatever tags you really like. Now with OCI, there's a differentiated feature which is called define tags. And this gives you more features, more control, um, and let's see how it's, you know, how it's implemented. So the first thing you do is you have this concept of namespaces. So you have a namespace here which says operations. You have a namespace here which says human resources. And uh, you, within the namespace, you have sort of a schema um, where it says, you know, you can define your tag keys. So in this case, it's an environment. You could say what kind of value is supported here. Uh, in the second tag keys project, you could specify a value and so on and so forth. The whole idea is when you use define tags, um, you have sort of a schema and you can secure them with policy. Later on, I'll, I'll show you a slide where we talk about how you can secure them using um, policies, uh, OCI policies. So let's, let's dive a little deeper into the tag namespace. As we saw, uh, tag namespace is nothing but a container for a set of keys, tag keys, uh, with tag key definitions. Now, what does that look like? Uh, the tag key definition specifies its keys. So in this case, you know, we defined a na namespace called operations and we have a key which is called in environment. And we could specify what kind of values are supported um, for for this for this key, right? So for right here, we could say that uh, it's, you know, it's a string. Uh, or we could say it's a text or a number and so on and so forth, right? Uh, the way you would specify the tags now is with a namespace dot key uh, and then you provide a value for that particular uh, tag. Now, tag key definition or a tag namespace cannot be deleted, uh, but you can retire them. Uh, and once you retire these, uh, either the, the namespace or the tag keys, uh, you cannot use them. Uh, but you can again reactivate them um, and you can you can you can use them again so let's see how you work with these uh, defined uh, tags so as we saw earlier uh, defined tags consist of a tag namespace a key and a value we just saw in previous two slides um, these the tag namespace and the tag key definition must be set up in your tenancy uh, by someone. Maybe it's a compartment admin, maybe it's a tenancy admin uh, which, who sets it up. So you as users can use them. Tag key can have a tag value type of string or it can also have a list of values from which the user must choose. So now you have give, you, are, you also can provide options uh, where you know the user only chooses a specific set of values um, gets an option to choose from that specific set of values you can also use a variable to set the value of a tag um, when you add the tag to a resource the variable res resolves to the data it represents for example if you have a namespace namespace called operations and you have a key called cost center for the value you could specify something like this uh, i am dot principal dot name at uh, OCI dot daytime uh, where uh, daytime where uh, when you add this tag to a resource the variable res results to your username that's I am principal name and the date time date stamp for when you added uh, the tag so this just makes uh, again gives you the flexibility to uh, to use uh, tags in a in a variety of ways so let me uh, let me just quickly go to, uh, and I'll be using this, so let me just copy this quickly. Uh, let me just uh, quickly go into our um, uh, console and show a couple of these things, how, how you could use them. So the first thing is um, you want to find, um, you, you want to use, uh, let's say the tag namespaces. Using just normal uh, uh, freeform tags is pretty straightforward. Let's use uh, something which is uh, on, on the namespaces we just looked at. So let's say you want to create uh, a namespace 
uh, you could um, you as an admin could define that so let's say this namespace we want to um, create here let's say it's called marketing and this is a tag namespace for marketing purposes you create a namespace definition right and as part of marketing then you could create different tag keys so you could say campaign this is a key to define the campaign and right here you could provide a static value or you could provide a list of values so let me provide a list of values here and I could say this is uh, my uh, campaign for North America or this is my campaign for EMEA on and so so on and so forth right I could actually define these values and now I create a, uh, a tag key definition now let's say if a user so I already did this right and let's see if a user now comes in here and wants to create for this marketing org, they are creating, uh, yeah, yeah, let's say, uh, um, uh, a resource. So I go into my training compartment, which I've been using until now, and I'll see a bunch of these uh, uh, virtual cloud networks here. Let's say I want to create a marketing VCN, virtual cloud network. Now I can come here, I can specify a CIDR block. I'm just creating a simple, uh, network without um, getting into subnets and route tables etc right now right here with this is true with all the resources you have in OCI I have a place which which shows the tag namespaces and I could use a free form tag you could do that or I could pick one from the namespaces we just have in the system which my admins have created so the admins have created this um, uh, the admin has created this namespace for marketing so I pull that up and right away you can see the tag keys here and because it was a tag key which had a set of values, specific values, I could pick these values from here, North America, EMEA, and APAC. So let's say I choose North America, I could create a virtual cloud network here, right? And if I come down here, I can see that there is there is, there is is a uh, tag uh, which says marketing uh, dot campaign. This is my namespace, this is my, my key, and the value is North America. Now, um, I could add tags here, right? And let's want to add a free form tag. It's, it's really simple as well, right? You could just come here and you could you could specify, uh, let's say cost center is a free form tag. Uh, you, could, you could specify a value and you could add a tag like that, right? Uh, so there are various ways you would use uh, the tags within uh, OCI. Hopefully, you know, it gives you a flavor of how defined tags uh, help you with uh, uh, with 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 uh, gives you more flexibility. Now, last thing I want to to show here is how you secure these with uh, policies because we talked about that, right? So in the previous um, um, slides, we have talked about how you uh, define policies for uh, for uh, different users. So in this case, let's say there's a group called Instance Launchers, which just by name it means that these are uh, users who are creating instances. Uh, and they, uh, you, you need to write policies where they can create and delete instances and so on and so forth, right? And they are using virtual uh, network family, so it's just use here. They are using the block volume, so there's the keyword use here, but they're creating and deleting instances, so there is the keyword manage here. Now you could secure your defined tags with policies as well, right? So for example, if you want these these users to use namespaces, uh, but but you could just leave it there or you could make it conditional and more powerful so you could say that the target namespace name remember this is the example of a complex uh, policy we talked about request dot operation and target dot name those are the two keywords you use with variables so you could say target dot tag namespace name so the name of the the tag namespace is operations so now if uh, if they launch the, the users in this particular group, they launch an instance, they can apply the operations namespace tags and a, a, anything which comes under the operations namespace, whether it's a cost center key or a project key or a region key or the, the other keys you defined, uh, they can apply those those tags within that namespace. Um, so again, it, it gives you a little bit more uh, power. Uh, because it's not just free form tags, uh, but you could define tags, 
uh, you can have some consistency users can choose from certain values and you can also secure them uh, using policies so who can apply the tax you, you could control that well with that uh, this concludes our uh, lecture series on OCI identity and access management uh, I hope you found it uh, useful thanks for joining this uh, lecture series if you have time please join the next lecture series on virtual cloud network thank you hi everyone welcome to 